use this with that. It's too far away. The drone's central logic processor is set to standby. There's nothing we can do here for the moment. this with that. I cannot use this with that. I cannot use this with that. with that. It's too far away. It's too far away. It's virtually impossible to align the beam while the drone is moving. It's virtually impossible to align the beam while the drone is moving.
I am unable to collimate the beam while the drone is in motion. It is unlikely there would be any logic circuitry in that area. I see no way of using this with that object. The door is controlled by logic circuits. see no means to open the door manually. We should leave the logic inhibitor here to prevent the door from closing behind us. Who are you? Where is your master? Speak! I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. I have full authority to represent the Federation. Please follow me, sir. Our master will want to speak with you. Follow me, please. Master will only speak to your master. Greetings. Please do not be alarmed. Our intentions are peaceful. Visitors are not shunned. Who are you? 
I am Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. I represent the United Federation of Planets. How did you get here? We detected no other ships in the system. We have always been here. We are the uh, uh, caretakers of this planet. Caretakers? We thought this planet was abandoned long ago. We are the descendants of those who survived the Civil War. You are Chodak? You have heard of us. What is the purpose of your visit? We are trying to find out why two fleets have invaded Federation space. Whose fleets are they? One fleet is Romulan. The other fleet belongs to a civilization we have never encountered before. Their aim is not conquest? They only attacked when they ran directly into our defenses. Their goal appears to be in the unexplored space beyond the Federation. So, what do you hope to find here, when these fleets are on the other side of the Federation? The evidence we have found so far indicates that they are seeking an ancient weapon, possibly built by your ancestors. In my pupil stage, I heard tales of a device built eons ago. These legends claimed that the device gave our ancestors almost godlike powers. Now suppose such a device truly exists. What makes your federation worthy to possess it? We only want to prevent such a powerful device from falling into the wrong hands. Yes, that would unfalsely be a calamity. Do you know where the main computer center is? We found a remote terminal, but the data link was damaged. There is a working computer in the Hall of Records, but we do not have the proper encryption rod to access the data. We have not found any such rods, but this hall of records you mentioned would seem an excellent place to begin our research. The historical archives are stored in a computer, and there is no way to access the data without an encryption rod. We have expertise in data encryption. Perhaps we can extract the data without a rod. It is not unworthy of a try. Please follow my optimators to the hall of records. I am familiar with all known encryption techniques. Yes, your drone could be useful. No need to trouble yourselves if you'll just point us in the right direction. I cannot let you wander unguided. The way to the Hall of Records is not direct and there are many hazards. We can look after ourselves, I assure you. As you wish. It did not work.
we set off some kind of security system. It is a directed energy device. It appears to use external sensors to acquire targets. These lights appear to be passive sensors. 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 The security devices are apparently protected by an energy shield. There could be a frequency window in the protective energy shield through which the sensors receive input. If we tune our phasers to the sensor frequency, we might be able to overload them. Make it so. Perhaps we can disable the sensors with our phasers. There is a frequency window in the sensor shields at a wavelength of precisely 737.32 angstroms. Computer, search subject, Unity device. This chart might contain the location of the Unity device. So, you have an encryption rod after all. Good. It has saved your lives. Oh, let me introduce myself properly. I am Admiral Broadnack, master of the Nine Challenges, bearer of the 15th shell of the Chodak Empire, commander-in-chief of the Chodak Starfleet. Thank you for saving me a great deal of time. If they cause any trouble, eliminate them. Yes, sir. Transfer and erase chart 45 NXD. Now, play the Unity device file for our guests. From the time the first Chodak Grub made his fateful journey to the beauty and freedom of a new shell, to the first Chodak in space, to the building of our great empire, no achievement compares to the creation of the Unity device, the culmination of 650 years of research, development, and construction. The Unity device opens up the path to a bright and happy future for all Chodaks. It's really quite simple. We de-randomize a quanta of subspace. The resulting predictability is then cascaded to a usable volume with a positive feedback loop. At that point, the hyperwarp accelerator speeds this quanta all the way to warp 17. At that point, of course, the quanta is exactly as large as the universe. It then takes only a minute change in subspace to affect a large and predictable change in real space. 
security device is already being used to make the universe a better place for Chodax. It has pacified regions of the Empire facing civil unrest. It has prompted many other races out of ignorance and into full second-class membership in the Empire. The Unity Device, newest wonder of the universe, paving the way to a better and brighter future. Such power, and it was thrown away. Ages ago, a group of rebellious scientists sent it into the future, claiming it should only be used for celestial engineering. Now the time of its return is near. With the ancient star charts from this computer, we can pinpoint exactly when and where the Unity device will reappear. Goodbye. I feel that in the short time we have been together, I have grown almost fond of your species. We will meet again. Soon. Perhaps your Federation will qualify for second-class membership in the new Chodak Empire. The Chodak are no longer here. They took the isolinear rod and rod programmer with them. Failure in the panel's control program prevented complete deactivation. We will not be able to access the database itself, but we can still view the files stored in the local buffer circuits. We could use a bit of luck. My fellow Chodak, I represent a group of concerned scientists who have seized control of the Unity device to prevent further abuse of its powers. Many of you will doubt our motives, but what we do, we do for the Chodak race. We shall not judge our bureaucrats and admirals too harshly, though their acts threaten the existence of the universe itself. Their minds were insufficient to grasp the danger they caused. We are taking the device to a place in time where they will never be able to reach it. Every 456,000 Balchaks, the device will reappear in the normal space-time continuum. Once the Chodak race has developed the necessary intelligence and wisdom, it can reclaim the device. Got Gimlash out. Why the delay, Optimator One? Sir, the security rod is stuck in the panel. We must leave now. But... Now. Yes, sir.
We should get back to the ship. I have recorded the information. Beam us up. Data, I want you to run a full analysis on the information we discovered on the planet. The analysis is already underway, sir. Sir, a ship was detected leaving the planet's surface. It matches the description of the alien ships that recently invaded Federation space. Then there's no doubt left. The ancient Chodak have returned in force to reclaim their Unity device. Can we intercept the Chodak ship? They are already out of sensor range. It is undoubtedly headed for the Unity device. Send its last known heading to Starfleet. Perhaps another vessel can intercept them. Hi, sir. What's the status of that Romulan vessel? It will enter the system in approximately nine minutes. We've got to get out of here, sir. You're right, number one. Take us back into Federation space. Engage. The analysis is complete. The Unity device is in sector 313 at coordinates 9, 14, 16. Shall I lay in a course to the Unity device, sir? All right, Data. Make it so. Engage. Entering Federation space.
Primary core access enabled. Systems online. Captain, I'm still a little uncertain as to the original purpose of the Unity device. It seems to have been a tool for engineering on a cosmic scale. We've done our own experiments with terraforming, but creating multiple star systems? Not just creating, the device has the power to destroy as well. With all that power, I wonder what went wrong. A group of Chodak scientists rebelled against their empire. They disagreed with the use of the device as a tool for political and military gain. They seized control and somehow sent it into the future. Time travel? Is there anything this device can't do? Warning. Entering Nebula. Captain, our sensors are picking up an artificial structure. On screen. Analysis? It is extremely large. Approximately 314 million kilometers in diameter. Material composition, unknown. That's incredible. Could it be a Dyson Sphere? I don't think so. I believe we found the Unity device. Take us in, number one. Sensors are unable to penetrate the device structure, but gravimetric analysis indicates that it is probably hollow. Can you find a suitable location to beam an away team into the device? Sir, I do not advise using the transporter. Why not? The device does not fully exist in this time continuum. The temporal boundary surrounding the device would disrupt our transporter signal. Keep searching. There must be some way into the device. The sensors are also picking up a large quantity of debris around the device as well as significant residual radiation. The debris appears to be the remnants of several Romulan and Chodak vessels, possibly the result of a battle. I do not detect any survivors in the vicinity. The Gradian Warbird is uncloaking. It is the Asurum. We are being hailed. On screen. Greetings, Captain Picard. Captain Pentara. It appears that the Romulan and Chodak fleets have destroyed each other. Not exactly. From what I've managed to piece together, it seems that when the two fleets began shooting, it triggered the Unity device's defenses, which destroyed them both. I suspect that anyone foolish enough to discharge their weapons near the device would suffer the same fate. Then it appears that we both have incentives for peace. How is the situation back on Garrid? Not good. Revolutionaries have seized control of Garrid in the name of the Fifth Scroll. Anyone who questions their actions is executed as an enemy of the people. I wish I'd never set my eyes on that miserable parchment. So, what are your intentions here? I intend to win the Unity device for Garrett. It will take a miracle to restore order to my world. Perhaps this device can supply one. Captain, vessel approaching bearing 161 Mark 204 on an intercept course. It is a Chodak dreadnought. Shields up, red alert. We are being hailed. On screen. Well, Captain Picard, you humans are more resourceful than you appear. Prepare to die. The dreadnought is arming weapons. They have locked onto us. They are closing. Evasive maneuvers. They did not fire. I do not understand. Sensors indicate that their systems are functioning normally. I sense hostility, but also deception. Were they bluffing? Trying to get us to fire first?
Mr. Data, any suggestions? I suggest we... Captain, we have just intercepted a transmission between the Dreadnought and the Unity device. It is a coded binary signal. The transmission is opening a large access port on the surface of the device. The Dreadnought has launched a shuttlecraft. It is heading towards the access port. The Garidian vessel is also launching a shuttlecraft. Mr. Worf, assemble a security team and meet me in Shuttle Bay 3. Data, you're with me. You have the bridge number one. Captain, I must... I know what you're going to say, Will, but I'm not going to stay here and let those people decide the fate of the Federation for us. Understood, sir. Good luck. Sir, according to the ship's sensor reports, both the Garidian and the Chodak shuttlecraft landed nearby. I see no signs of either landing party, Captain. We'll have to find out which way they've gone. They have superior knowledge of the device and a head start. <laughs> 